December nights, kissing under bright lights, snowflakes in my head, carols playing in the air. I dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights, red bow. All right, so I'm gonna go and start with a kind of glowy base. This is the In Beauty Project face glaze and this is a product that I talked about in my Black Friday haul. I'm just kind of playing around with this, trying it out. So I figured I would try it out in today's video. Now, if I was actually getting ready for a holiday party, holiday event, I probably wouldn't try out a new product. I'm gonna blend this out with an Alter Ego 4 brush. And I actually received um, a bunch of eyeshadow palettes from them. So that's what we're gonna be playing with today. And they are of course doing yard work today. So, you know, that's how it goes. All right, for foundation, my favorite, favorite foundation to wear for events, for special occasions, just a foundation that never does me wrong, always looks good, wears well, perfect amount of coverage, is actually my Purito BB Cream. I love this stuff so much. I mix two shades, I mix 23 and 27 because I don't have a shade that really works for me. So this is the foundation I'm gonna be wearing today because if I were getting ready for uh, a holiday event, holiday party, this is the foundation I would wear because I just, oh, it's just so good. And then I'm gonna take that same brush and use that to blend in the foundation. And even when I do more glam looks, I honestly don't like a ton of coverage. I feel like, especially since I'm the look that I'm imagining, we'll see how it turns out. But since I want something a little bit more smoky and dramatic on the eyes, I really like to offset the eye makeup with honestly just a really fresh light base. I mean, I definitely want to even out the skin and cover what needs to be covered, but I just don't like to have a really heavy full coverage base. And I am loving this brush. Alter Ego number four brush. This is such a nice brush. It's like blending out this foundation so perfectly. So I'm just going to use whatever is left over on the back of my hand and apply it to areas where I want a little bit more coverage. I have this massive bruise under my chin from Jiu Jitsu this morning. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I cover that up. All right, perfect. So for concealer, I'm gonna take my Hourglass Vanish Concealer and I'm using this in the shade Oat. Just really get into that inner corner, outer corner. Honestly though, for the under eye area, I'm not too concerned because I am going to be doing a darker kind of black situation on the eyes. So you really don't need to apply a ton of concealer on the under eyes when you're doing something really smoky. Because oftentimes you're going to be bringing eyeshadow down there anyway. And I'm going to go in with that same brush. I'm just having really good luck with this brush. I really, really like this. They actually sent me um, quite a few of their brushes. So we'll kind of play around with those today. And I'm gonna take just whatever's on the brush and kind of bring it up onto the eyelid. So let's do some cream contour. I'm just gonna use my favorite. I know I use this all the time, but it's just, it really truly is my favorite cream contour, cream bronzer. So this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I'm concentrate this just right kind of towards the back and then I am going to bring it in just a little bit just to get that nice sculpt right there and then I'm going to try and blend this out with the Alter Ego 2 brush. I don't know how this uh, brush shape is going to work but we're going to try it and when I do contour I always make sure to blend upwards to keep it nice and high so we don't drag down the cheek. I'm actually not loving this brush for this. I think I'm gonna go back to the number four brush. 
And I do like to go a little bit more heavy handed with my cream products, like cream blush, bronzer, things like that, because we are gonna be setting this down with powder and it usually kind of takes away the color. So kind of compensate for that. Tighten up the nose. Under the lip. The outer corner of the brow, just to lift it. And to set the face, I'm just going to use my tried and true Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, setting powder. And I'm going to make sure to set my eyelids as well. So to add another layer of contour bronzer, I'm going to take the powder version, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt bronzer this is just again another one of my favorites and i love using this when doing a more glam look uh, this is in the shade light medium and i'm going to take it on the alter ego one brush and this will also just kind of prolong the wear of your bronzer sometimes it gets patchy throughout the night or it just starts to kind of fade having a cream bronzer with a powder bronzer on top can help to minimize fading and just really prolong the wear of your makeup. So I'm just going right on top of that cream. Ooh, I like this brush too. These brushes are really soft. And then for my nose, my favorite brush, my nose and my lips, is the BK Beauty 205. It's got a little bit of an angle to it, which I find just fits really nicely. So I'm just going to take this down the sides of my nose. And then I also like to take just a little bit under my bottom lip. All right, so for blush, I'm gonna layer as well. I'm gonna do a cream and a powder. So I'm first gonna go in with my favorite Tower 28 uh, Power Move Cream Blush. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it on the BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy brush. This is the A507. I love this brush with this blush. I use these together every single time. I don't know, there's just something just magical about this duo. And I'm gonna keep it a little higher. I'm not gonna bring it too far down onto my apple. Just keep the cheek nice and lifted. And I'm also gonna take just a tiny bit up onto my forehead as well. I have a very wide forehead, so. I like to kind of carry my products all the way through my forehead. And again, if it's looking a little too intense, a damp sponge fixes all of that. All right, and then I'm gonna set it down with my favorite powder blush, which is Kiss of Copper from Bare Minerals. Nothing new here. And my favorite brush to use with this is the Refer 31. And I'm just gonna place this right on top it's a little intense but blush always fades on me really quickly so i like to go a little heavier with my blush a little bit on the nose just a tiny bit i'm actually i think i'm gonna skip highlighter because i feel like i've got a lot of glow from the blush i'm so sorry about the noise outside so I'm gonna leave it as, as is. If I decide to add highlighter later, we can definitely do that, that's easy. But I'm gonna go and set my face down with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I just repurchased this during Black Friday because I'm absolutely obsessed with this setting spray. It's just so good. And it just makes your skin look incredible. It's like the perfect kind of like fixing spray. If you kind of are looking at your makeup and there's just something not quite right, like maybe your powders are not really melding together, your makeup's not really looking as seamless, you take this, spray your face, and it just fixes everything. Okay, so the brand Alter Ego sent me a ton of their eyeshadows. I already picked one because I do have a specific look in mind, and the one that I picked um, is actually this one called Shadow Kiss 
because I like the kind of smoky cool tones in this palette. So this is what, the one we're gonna use today. But I wanted to show you the other ones that they sent me. I'm not too familiar with this brand, so I don't know if these are new or if these are just like bestsellers or just uh, an array of eyeshadow palettes in their collection. But I thought I would just share them with you since I have them. And if one piques your interest, I can do a look using it. Um, but this is the Artemis eyeshadow palette really pretty kind of more jewel tones i really like this one like this blue right here looks so pretty um but that's one of them uh they also sent me harmony now this one uh, one of the eyeshadows got busted in route so that one is no longer there but it's a really nice kind of rosy mauve and a purpley palette and then luster i love the packaging of this one so pretty um, and this is what the inside looks like. So their eyeshadow palettes, they all look pretty different on the inside in terms of like the layout and everything. Um, and then Canyon, which is definitely a more warm kind of bronzy palette. But yeah, really pretty. I've tried this brand before. It was years ago. I think they, had, they were brand new, but I haven't tried anything from them since. They also sent me some of their matte liquid lips. So maybe we'll use some of those. But I just thought Shadow Kiss would be perfect for today's look because I want to do a little bit more of like a cool tone, smoky eye situation. Okay, so for this look, I pulled an eye pencil. This is Barbarella Brown from Charlotte Tilbury. I was going to do black, but I think I want to do brown. And this is a really dark brown. It's like almost black. So I think I'm going to use this today because um, my idea is a winged out kind of smudgy smoky situation um right along the lash line um lots of liner in the waterline and then maybe like some kind of eye topper glitter something or other on the center of the lid first i'm going to take this pencil and i'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline um, i know i want to do this anyway so it's easier to do it now when I don't have to worry about touching my eyes or messing anything up. So I'm just gonna really smudge this into my upper and lower waterline. I'm gonna take the same pencil and I'm gonna start applying this to my upper lash line. Does not have to be perfect because we're gonna go in and blend it out anyway. I just want to lay down the color and I would definitely recommend uh, using a really creamy pencil for this because um, it's just going to be easier to work with. So I'm going to take this Alter Ego 9 brush. It's kind of a flat, more dense brush and I'm going to use that to Smoke that out a little bit, really smudge it and push it into the lash line. And then I'm also gonna do this on my lower lash line as well. All right, now from here, I'm actually gonna use my brush to bring that liner upwards. And we're gonna start kind of creating the shape all right, and then now I'm gonna take my pencil and just use that kind of basic outline that we have and intensify it. Just kind of trace right along that. Like one of the easiest ways to do winged liner. Actually, I'm gonna switch to a bit of a smaller brush. This is an Alter Ego 11. It's like a nice little pencil brush just so I can be a little bit more precise on this outer corner. That's basically the general idea of the look that I wanted. And we'll go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and kind of uh, blend it out a little bit better. But that's the general idea. So I'm just using my brush and whatever uh, liner I have already laid down and I'm just continuing my lower lash line just kind of using these like kind of flicking motions and this will help me 
to create that you know, winged shape and it's very soft so if you mess up or if it doesn't look quite right it's a lot easier to go in and fix it and then I go back in with my pencil and just draw right over that little guide that I made. And I'm just gonna kinda just go in and tweak it until I feel like both sides are relatively even. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you can also just take your brush and go just straight into the pencil and do it that way too. That might be a little bit easier especially if your pencil is not super sharp. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start working with some shadows just to help kind of blend this out and make it a little bit more smoky and not so, so defined. So I'm gonna go in to this eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take the shade Umbra, which appears to be a nice kind of charcoal brown. There's actually no black in this palette, which I kinda wish there was, but I also pulled MAC Carbon in case we want a little bit of black. But I think I might just stick with these more kind of rich browns today because they're not too warm. They're actually quite kind of smoky and gray and kind of charcoal. So I'm just gonna take that umber shade and just go right on top of the pencil just to set that down. And then I'm just gonna take my pencil brush with no additional eyeshadow and just slowly kind of start diffusing this upwards. Just take it right above that liner. So it kind of like fades up towards the eyelid. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the palette and take the shade Desire which is a nice kind of lighter, taupey gray brown. And I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line just to help smoke out this eyeshadow. I'm taking this on an Alter Ego 10 brush. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of that Desire shade and run that right above the liner. Again, just to kind of help smoke it upwards. Wow, I'm really liking this so far. This is really pretty, everything's blending out really nicely and I like these colors. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with Barbarella Brown and just intensify my waterline. Trying to decide if I wanna do some sparkle. There's actually some really pretty, whoops, some really pretty kind of shimmery shades in here, but they're more of like metallics. I kind of want more of like a glitter. Actually, there was a glitter in one of these palettes that looked really pretty. Oh yeah, this one. So this is the Luster Charm palette from Alter Ego, and this shade right here, Sacred, that looks super pretty. That's more of like that separated glitter. I was kind of thinking of, hmm, do we want to do that? I think we'll just do a little bit. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see, it's like a very kind of glossy separated glitter. So I'm just gonna really lightly kind of sweep this across my lid because I want it to basically give like a glossy vibe rather than like I've got a metallic eyeshadow on my eyes. Oops. Taking it all the way to my lash line on top of that liner and just kind of using my finger to really push it all over the lid. Oh, wow, that's stunning. Ooh, I like that. All right, I'm glad we did that. That's really pretty. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and do my lashes before we do anything else, cause I don't wanna do too much until we do the mascara. So I'm actually gonna do lashes today, like actual false lashes, if I can find them. Um, I have discovered the absolute, where did I put them? The absolute best false lashes. Um, they, these were actually sent to me from Kiss. And this is something I would never buy for myself at the store because I've tried magnetic lashes in the past, never found a pair that worked. And they have now come out with this like magnetic eyeliner. And the eyeliner is magnetic and you literally just drop the lashes on top of the liner and they stick. I've used these several times and they are so 
good, really good. Like I was super impressed. So you get the liquid liner. The only thing is you have to wear liner if you wanna wear these lashes. So that's the only bad thing. Um, I typically don't wear liquid liner, but with such a dark eye look like this, you're not even gonna be able to see it. So it's just like this, um, like a liquid liner applicator. And you just line your lash line. Now you want it to be thick enough to where the lashes have something to grip onto, but you don't want it to be too, too thick if you're not doing a ton of eyeshadow or liner on the eyes. Luckily today we've got a lot going on, um, but I'm still gonna keep it relatively thin because I don't want it too, too thick. So I'm just gonna line my upper lash line and then you do let it dry before applying the lashes. Now the style they sent me is Tempt. They're like these kind of three quarter lashes. So a lot of drama on the outer corner, which I really like that style of lash. I'm sure they have other styles, but this is just the one that they sent me and I love it. Highly, highly recommend if you don't mind having to apply liner. And because they're magnetic, they don't get all messy like other lashes with lash glue because the liner is dry, so they don't get messy at all. Yeah, super impressed with these. So I'm just gonna let that liquid liner dry before we apply the lashes. Ooh, and actually while that's drying, I'm gonna do just a really light coat of mascara. I'm gonna use my Tower 28 mascara. And I'm also just gonna give my lashes a little bit of a curl. And this will just make sure that your regular lashes blend well with the false lashes. And then I'm also gonna apply mascara to my lower lashes. All right, zoom y'all in so you can see how easy these are to apply. So usually I do use, I use tweezers, but I don't have any tweezers with me right now, but they're, they're gonna stick immediately, so you don't have to really worry about that. So they come on the little normal like lash carton, but the cool thing about this is it has these two little See that? Yeah, two little not, uh, magnets. So, whoops, I can grab this. So the lashes literally just stick right to the magnets. So that's really cool. I'm just gonna drop them right onto my eye. And then you just kind of adjust them. But yeah, they just stick immediately. Let me move them down a little bit. Stick immediately to the Liner, I mean, so easy. So, so easy. Let's do the other one. And those are the lashes. They are the easiest things ever. I do not like false lashes. I never wear false lashes, but these, these are amazing mowing again so i'm sorry but we're almost done we're gonna do a lip uh, alter ego did send me some of their liquid lips i don't know if i'm gonna use them today but i figured we just look at them so this is what they look like really really pretty packaging um i, think I can hold up all of them but i'll definitely have to do some looks using these shades yeah, they're so pretty. I love the packaging. So I definitely want to go more nude. I'm kind of leaning towards Euphoria. Um, give her a little swatch. That's Euphoria. That's a little dark. I don't know if any of these are really going to work. This is Intrigue. Intrigue right there. Swatch Crush. Which is the other kind of nudie shade. So Crush. Intrigue, Euphoria. Yeah, these are a little dark. Not really feeling these right now, but I'll definitely have to play with those maybe on Instagram or something. All right, so I'm gonna remove my lip balm. And I think I'm just gonna do a really simple lip because we just have so much going on on the eyes. I kind of want the lips to just be glossy and nude. All right, I'm gonna take Work of Art from Tower 28, my absolute favorite lip pencil. Just 
trying to smudge that into my lips. And then, what do I want to do on top? Maybe just do a gloss. Glosses I have on me. Ooh, you know what? Let's do the In Beauty Lip Glaze Oil in Candy Apple. Candy Apple? It's number one. Yeah, Candy Apple. Just do a little bit of this on top. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's pretty. I ended up ordering two more of these. I got uh, donut, glazed donut and the berry one because I'm just so obsessed with this one. And I wanted to see what the other colors were like. Alright guys, so that completes this holiday glam. This will be great for New Year's Eve. This is definitely something I would wear for New Year's Eve. Totally a, a, an awesome New Year's Eve look. Christmas, if you want to do something more glam, more smoky for Christmas, this is a great look. Or if you just want to go out on the weekend, this is just the perfect, like, just classic smoky eye it just never goes out of style and with these lashes oh my gosh these lashes just make the entire look they pull the eye out along our little wing situation we have it really pulls the eye out so gorgeous not difficult and y'all need to run not walk to get these lashes because they are perfection i love them if they would if they could come out with like a clear liner that would be really cool too. I know they have like clear lash glue and all that, but if they could come out with a clear magnetic liner, that way you don't have to actually wear liner, that would be brilliant. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I love this look. I've just got my long braid in uh, a blazer, and honestly, I'm just wearing sweatpants on the bottom. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. It's the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees